How's it going, guys? Oh my god, it has been a long time. So I dropped a uh, video last week, well, two weeks now, of my top 10 uh, favorite movies of 2020 plus honorable mentions. That was my last video of 2020, and this is my first video of 2021, and I'm going to be honest, guys, um, I have not been in the game in quite some time. Uh, people who are really dedicated to my channel and really support me, you guys know this. Um, I have just kind of been falling off the grid a little bit, and I've been slowly uh, coming back up and everything, and I'm not going to say anything, you know, like, this is my return to YouTube or anything, because as I have learned, and as you guys probably know now, I, I jump the gun when I say shit, so hopefully from what you guys can see, <laughs> my setup is coming along uh, rather well. I've slowly upgraded my DVDs to Blu-rays, or I've started to. I have much more on the list I need to do. I just started doing this last week. This isn't what this video is supposed to be about. This is going to be a video talking about one of my most anticipated films of 2021, Pieces of a Woman. So everything I talked about just a second ago, what we'll talk about, you know, in a, in a further video coming very soon, uh, supposedly. That's <laughs> what I'm planning. <laughs> so without getting sidetracked, this is going to be a review on the new film Pieces of a Woman on Netflix. So I have been excited about this movie ever since Chris Stuckman reviewed it from uh, viewing it at TIFF uh, last year. And I've been anticipating this film because, I mean, we got Vanessa Kirby in it, like just based off of the trailer, what I've what I seen from her performance, you know, uh, based off of the plot, which is, from what I first thought about a couple grieving over a miscarriage, but it's, it's not about that. It's uh, actually more or less much darker. <laughs> we got Shia LaBeouf, my, my boy Shia LaBeouf. Controversy aside, one of my favorite actors and from what I've been hearing, his possibly best performance, as well as, holy shit, Benny Safdie, who is one of the co-directors, uh, along with his brother Josh Safdie, uh, of the Safdie Bros, who did uh, films like Uncut Gems, as well as Good Time, both excellent films. And with 2020 just going down a blaze like it did, <laughs> with this film releasing on January 8th of, of 2021, I, I could not fucking see more light at the end of the tunnel. So this film has been, around, been out around a week now, and I was going to literally drop a review for this at midnight. It was going to be like my comeback review, and I just didn't get around to it. I've been really busy with a lot of things, uh, work and filming my movie and writing and all, all, all kinds of shit. I just, I have not had the time, and I, another thing, this is a really interesting thing, because I have a big tolerance for films, I mean, grotesque films, hard to sit through films, films that are very tear-jerking, very just, like, just rip you apart inside, and just take you and make you theirs. I have a big tolerance for that kind of stuff, and the more that I wanted to see this movie, the more that I heard about it, not necessarily the more I didn't want to hear, I didn't want to see it, but the more I caught myself asking, Am I ready for this? The reviews have been more or less pretty polarizing. So long story short, I didn't know when I was ready to watch this film, but I woke up this morning and I was ready to watch it. I was ready. And now I'm ready to talk about it. So, Pieces of a Woman is about a young couple played by, by uh, Vanessa Kirby and Shia LaBeouf. Um, they have uh, what seems to be a, a pretty sheltered relationship, you know, pretty stable and everything. Uh, they're expecting their first their first child and everything, and, and what I like about this film, uh, in the beginning anyway, uh, learning about this couple is that they feel very structured. These actors, these performers, they seem to be, they seem to fit the roles very, very, very well for these two partners. And I've been hearing a lot from a lot of different people, a lot of, uh, a lot of friends that, that I, that I have on the platform that have already reviewed this movie, and a lot, a lot of different reviews and, and just, just things about it, that the first half of this movie, in anyways, is, it's almost unbearable. And this may be a mixed opinion what I'm about to say to a lot of people, but... And this goes with what I'm about to say in a minute here, but... The first... What, people, what I was hearing is that like, the first 40 minutes were, were, were where it was at with this movie. I guess uh, how I can say it in a way is that during those 40 minutes, during this, oh, this first act and everything, I didn't know if this was a perfect 10 for me or a fucking 8 or a 7. I guess the best way I'm trying to put it is that it felt just natural. There's not, nothing really about this opening piece that really shook me or really captured me. From my knowledge, I kind of, you know, I had an idea of what I was going in for. And again, the way that Shia LaBeouf and Vanessa Kirby are 
portrayed in this film. The way the way that, that they're going about with their characters, it's not really hiding anything, it's not really putting anything in the dark or being shallow about anything, but it's not really giving everything the most impact it seems like it could. Again, I knew for the most part anyway what, 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 what I would be getting for going into this movie, but for as rough as I was hearing about, about it from people, and, and for the nature too, and the concept of the movie, the premise, it just felt natural. I moved along with the pace, along in a, in a sense, as the characters did. What they were portraying and how they were feeling and how they're going about things and what it was and what events were leading after another, I was moving along with that. And there was nothing there's and this is really important to me that I want to say really quick. There's nothing really about this film that was that I was really expecting or really looking forward to or really predicting or trying to play out in my head. It was just a smooth ride. And maybe it was partially just because and this has been a big thing about this movie. Or less, the first act is just one take, which is very well done, I must say, as well as the last act. What's really interesting about that aspect of the film is that the movie changes a lot of tones. It moves from this grief and this very rough theme, but the movie always seems to be going in one pace. It always seems to be going one route. It seems like a very solid piece, which is the, which is the main thing for me about this movie that really, that really grabbed me. But without getting too sidetracked, this goes, uh, into more of what I was saying how I put this movie more or less off for a week because I was scared of honestly what to get into it I was scared of what I would be seeing what I would be witnessing and how I would take it and how far it would go but and I applaud this movie for this uh, for this specific thing is that I feel like the movie kind of had that into consideration at, at, through the making of it and through the story of it because again we know what this movie is we know what it pertains to and what it contains in it. And this film just seemed to take such good care of these characters. And not only that, but of the audience too. Again, I think what made the beginning of this, in my opinion, exactly what it needed to be and exactly where it was at, is the fact that you could keep along with these characters. You knew everything that was going to happen. You knew everything that was going to take place. You knew what these characters were in for. And regardless of the happy moments and of everything being stable for the, for the time being, you just stuck with them, and, or at least I did, exactly where they were at. And that is something that that I took extremely close to heart with this movie. Now getting into the second act, and this goes into depth more of what I talked earlier about, how it switches tones and everything. And this is a funny way to put this, or to say this, but this is the part where the, where the film actually feels like a movie. The cinematography is much different. The tone goes into a different nature where, you know, it really keeps you on board with the time, the time frames and everything. And it really, really keeps you on board with the grieving process and the healing process and how everything gets the closure and the final say in, in what it needs. And this is a film that could go, go a lot of different routes. And what I liked about this movie is that we're introduced to so many different characteristics. There's so many different characters and so many different moods and responses. After this more or less controversial of a film, it really, again, it just it made it feel relax it made it made you go into this film feeling as content and as easygoing as you possibly could but in saying that the film pulls no punches at all and i'm not going to spoil and what i mean by that but you see a lot of actions from the characters in this film you see how this event changes pe these characters as people and in what direction the justice is served and how i guess you can say the closure comes into place in a moment, in, in, in a situation like this. Now this was my number eight most anticipated film of 2021. And I shot a, a, a video with my buddy Tower uh, after the uh, last video I shot of my top 20 most anticipated films of 2021. And I'll get into another video why that video hasn't come out yet, but this was my number eight most anticipated film of this year. And this is probably, from what I've lived through, the year with the most releases coming out. And that says something. And, you know, this is a weird thing because I was getting some anxiety, I was getting some doubts and some negative thoughts about, well, this movie, this movie's been out for a week and I've been driving a review for it. Should I? Yes, I should. And, I, and I'm happy I did right now because I'm happy that I took this slow. I'm happy that I took this specific movie at the pace that I did. And I'm happy that I let the movie breathe a little bit and, and get some other reviews out from other people first so I could kind of have an idea because I wanted to play it safe with this I wanted to make sure that this is a film I could you know indulge and digest and honestly again this film 
it's beautiful not just in the way of it's touching or it's emotional or it's heartbreaking or anything like that, but it feels like a fragile film. I, I don't think that it's necessarily as impactful as it could be, but in saying that, I'm kind of happy about that. It's still a beautiful picture. It's one that a lot of people are kind of, you know, more or less, again, it's just getting polarized, po uh, polarized reviews because of how not necessarily tough it goes into everything. It's not a very hard movie to sit through, but again, it's a very honest one. And the polarizing part of this movie, and from what I'm taking in from a lot of different different uh, people and a lot of different reports and everything, is actually going against a lot of things I say. I just said, anyway. I think that the tone and the characteristics and how everything plays out, again, just feels like one piece. It feels solid. What a lot of people just felt like the first act was just something that the movie just couldn't top, and it's not about that. It's just... From what I took and what I analyzed anyway is that the, the whole first, just the whole one take of the first act, that really helps that feel isolated in itself and it helps it be its own piece of the movie and it really helps you stay on board and it, and it, and it, and it, and it does that I think in a way to keep it from going forward or ahead, or ahead of the movie. It wants you to be with these characters. It wants you to be with these pictures. It wants you to see this film piece by piece and some pieces stronger than others and some pieces it wants your attention, maybe not more per se, but it wants you to know exactly what it's stating. So I thought the layout of this movie was genius. And even with the ending, I, again, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but the finale of this film, like as you're getting this film and as you know what is coming as you go along with the movie as it plays out the justice that plays out in this movie again the finale where how everything you know closes it doesn't really feel like closure to me it just felt like it just felt like nature this is a very hard thing to get through and there may be no healing in saying that there may be never a time that you really fully recover but the highs and lows of this film are blatantly honest and honestly are acceptable and, and you know, respectful and and, and, and and I think that that was exactly what this movie was trying to do. It wasn't trying to do something that was trying to capture people, you know, their, their emotions. It wasn't trying to make people reflect on this in a certain way. It was just, I wanted, to, they, this filmmaker wanted to tell this story because it's so important and they wanted to do it in the most genuine way possible. This movie is going to be hard for a lot of people, and for some, for some people, it just it may not hit them as much as the others. And again, that could be because of the mixed opinions upon the layout of the film, or certain responses from the characters, or how other people would react to this kind of situation. What I'm saying is that this film, with the polarizing reviews it's getting, I think that that's great. I think that that is, you know, it, it, it's good for this film. Me, personally, I didn't think that this film was excellent. I didn't think that it was a must-see, but I think this film is undoubtedly good. I would definitely buy this on Blu-ray if it does get a, uh, a Blu-ray release, and I think that for a movie like this to come out first, above many things this year, it is not just a good opener for the year, but it's a promising one, and it's I, I, I'm really surprised that a movie like this came out at this time. So early in the year after so much nonsense, and I know this movie was maybe delayed. Uh, I know it, you know again it premiered at TIFF uh, last year, but going seeing this movie entering this year, going forward with this year for me, it just it helps me feel, I guess, stronger than I was last year. This is a film that I would by no means say you know you don't need to watch it. No, I think that this is a very important movie. I think that everything about this movie, literally everything, is at least good. It's stable, it's solid, it's stationary, it's structured, it's thoughtful. There's a lot of things as well throughout this movie that I looked back on earlier in the movie where I just didn't understand, like, okay, that just, that, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But it has so much more value and so much deeper message and meaning to it. And this film, just the whole arc of it was gorgeous. This is a very beautiful film and I, I, I could see this being one of my favorites of the year, regardless of the score I'm about to give it. I'm going to give Pieces of a Woman 
a 7.3. This is, you know, a, 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 a great thing for this year. Consider, I mean, last year, there wasn't, you know, there was a good handful of movies that I liked, but with all the movies coming out this year, if they do, I hope they do, this is definitely one I could see being on my list amidst of all the other ones, even if they're so much greater. This is one I could see, you know, making the list. Guys, this has been my first review in quite, quite an amount of time. Um... I'm actually going to be dropping, uh, and I mean it this time, I, I promise, I'm going to be dropping a video either tonight or later on this week, uh, explaining a lot of things, explaining why I haven't been on the platform and why I'm coming back into it and why this time I actually feel pretty solid. I'm not going to jump the gun saying anything right now. I'm not going to go ahead of myself. I'm just, I'm going to save it for a video so I can get more thoughts out in case anything changes, but... I plan on dropping another video uh, explaining a lot of things either later tonight or throughout the week. But So look forward to that. Uh, it will be coming. I, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Without further ado, that is going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Take care.